Hey guys, welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about tonight's episode. This was a crazy episode, Caitlyn and Ronnie centric. We have so much to break down and that ending, wow, we need to freak out about that. So, please be sure to stick around for the whole video, but for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so... The Flash is continuing and we are getting into the back half of this kind of story with Black Flame as the main villain, as they were calling him previously. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the start of the episode. So it begins with a flashback where we see Ronnie and Caitlin meeting for the first time and Ronnie's been injured due to his work in Star Labs, he's got a burn and Caitlin is basically able to help him. Obviously it's very fitting that it's a burn considering, you know, Ronnie eventually got fire powers, Caitlyn eventually got frost powers, and anyway, it was a really nice scene and I love that they filmed these flashbacks because they feel very authentic and yes, Caitlyn's wearing a wig or they did her hair a bit differently. It's quite obvious, but it has the effect that they intended it to have by having these flashback scenes to make us remember exactly what Ronnie was like and what Caitlyn was like. And during Caitlyn's confrontation with the Black Flame at the start of the episode, basically continuing on from where we left off last episode with the reveal that it was Ronnie, basically the voice is saying, help us come together. And then there is just like a few other lines, I don't know if I caught onto them exactly. However, it's made pretty clear that he needs memories, that is at least what Caitlyn says. Somehow, their memories together, which we're seeing in flashbacks, is going to lead them back together once again in the flash this time. And so let's move over to Iris's story, she doesn't have that much time this episode, it's much much smaller, although the scenes that they have are quite dramatic, so Iris's time sickness gets worse, and she's like freaking out, and at one point even Tinya goes after her, and Iris in fact disappears, and that's where we end off at the end of the episode, just before the post credit scene with Barry, realising because Sue shows up in Central City, that Iris has disappeared, and so I wonder if Barry's going to go over to Cozity next episode because Iris is obviously gone, I have no idea where she's gone, but Tinya basically made her disappear by using her kind of phantom girl powers that she has in the comics. Okay, so Caitlin knows and reveals to everyone that the Black Flame is in fact Ronnie. This was a big scene, we were expecting this, and so she basically downloaded his radiation and found out that Ronnie was, you know, turned into this the day of the singularity, also that is what they presume, and so his matter has changed and that is why he's been in this form, and that he is pure energy, this is all made pretty adamantly clear closer to the start of the episode, and so is Ronnie not in the center of the cloud, we don't know, we're like, hmm, is this actually him or not, they kind of play devil's advocate with it because Barry and Cecil gets a very strong feeling about what's actually going on, whereas Caitlin and Frost are more on the side of, oh, what happens if this is actually Ronnie? The rest of the team want to just get rid of him and, you know, get rid of the pain, it seems. And so he's been eating, apparently on people's grief, and this is just a way for him to survive. It's a mechanism of survival, and so this is, you know, one of Cecil's typical lines, like, analyzing people's grief, analyzing people's emotions, and there is a couple of Cecile moments in this episode that I have as nitpicks written down in my notes, and so Cecile basically goes on a mad one as Ronnie gets into her mind. It's just a typical scene where she's basically used as a plot device to make her feel the emotions of potentially what's going on and basically tease what's going to be proceeding in the next couple of scenes afterwards. That's pretty much the function of Cecile and her powers. She's just there to feel things and to translate that into information for the team. And I'm not a big fan of it, but you guys know, like every time this happens and it seems like it happens at least like once every episode or once every two episodes, I swear Cecile has one of these freak out moments where she's like, 
oh my god, I feel the anguish and the pain and the suffering with inside these people. Like, if you go back, I'm sure you can find many, many instances since she got her powers of her doing this. And it's a little bit tiring, I think. However, the rest of the episode is really interesting. I think the Cecile stuff was the weakest, and the Iris stuff was very short, so I'm not really going to compare the two, if I'm going to be completely honest. And so, let's go back. We have Barry and Caitlin, who don't see eye to eye on, you know, the question of, do we bring back Ronnie? Do we get rid of Firestorm? Or, you know, the evil Firestorm, that being bl the Black Flame at this point. Caitlin reveals to Marcus pretty much everything about Ronnie, and even though my TV glitched out at this point, I got the general gist that Marcus obviously was playing, like, Devil's Advocate, giving Caitlin the space to decide for herself, considering there is always a chance that Ronnie can come back and they are technically still married if he were to come back alive so it's you know a weird situation for Marcus but he played it very well I think okay so let's move on we have Chester and he's doing a live stream and Allegra comes up and this is like the one small scene they have in the episode where Chester is basically questioned by Allegra about his motivations showing all of this on stream because Chester reveals that he just wants to help people learn and that's what he's doing. He wants to assist people online who maybe can't access and get, you know, a hold of these tools and this can basically teach them for the future. However, Allegra is worried that villains could be watching and that people could get crazy ideas if they are watching because, you know, they can get these kind of high-tech material and put it together similar to how Chester does it. So I get that it's risky. Let's go back to Ronnie who gets in Cecile's mind and he's like, let me free. You can hear in the voice overlay and so the fire basically goes in his mind even though the fire doesn't show up. And so, you know, Cecile talks about the pain and how there was so much of him inside of it. And basically this is at the point where Barry and Cecile confront Caitlin and they're like, look, we think that Ronnie wants to die, and Cecile is very adamant on letting Ronnie die. She feels very, very strongly about this. It feels weird how adamant they are. I know that Cecile's feelings are very accurate, and maybe they should have trusted them. However, it doesn't feel like, you know, the best way to react. And so, in regards to Barry, Barry doesn't want to save him, only because he thinks what the Black Flame has done so far is a big spanner in the works because they've killed so many people so is this really runny and so it turns out all this time Cecile was right and so we get a flashback to 2013 we get a Cisco callback it's just Ronnie and Caitlin again wanted to mention these scenes because they were very cool I really liked flashing back and so then we suddenly cut back to Iris on a sofa she's completely like knocked out she's got her eyes closed and she's getting worse by the hour apparently and then Tinya confronts her and she tells Sue to shut up and then basically Iris disappears by Tinya's touch I presume she has the ability to transport her somewhere else I'm not sure exactly where Iris is right now however that is where we leave the episode at least for Barry and so let's move on we've got Caitlin who basically goes through the forest where they propose to each other and also in that flashback it's kind of like a failed romantic giveaway basically Ronnie talks about the focus on the future and to look away from the past which makes sense and that definitely teases what is later to come in this episode and in specifically regards to Ronnie because you know the focus should be on the future but also, you shouldn't look necessarily all the way away from the past, however, you should acknowledge the past for sure, and the fact that this is risky and that, you know, there is big risk factors that go into this. Okay, so Frost sides with Caitlyn, as everyone on Team Flash pretty much seems to agree, or at least the small part of Team Flash that are there around Barry agrees that you know, they should do this, that they should basically stop Ronnie and not try to save him. Then we move on, we have like a bunch of campers in the middle of a forest. I presume it's the same forest where they first kind of proposed to each other and, you know, everything was set in concrete. And in this forest, they are by a campfire. They start to hear some noises, it's all spooky and everything. 
and basically at that point we see the black flame come out of the actual flames there and Team Flash zip in obviously with their superpowers and so it seems Caitlyn is able to get through to the black flame so that they don't attack anyone and so what happens is Caitlyn comes in with the new kind of arc reactor I don't remember exactly what they call it I'm just calling it the Iron Man thing however with that actually in that matrix it basically contains Ronnie's cells or whoever is under there because you know at this point we're like oh Ronnie is back this is super exciting I literally did it on all capitals in my notes I was so excited to see Ronnie back in this episode and so there is apparently a problem with the way that his body is responding to everything and that something is basically off. That is the big teaser that leads into what happens at the end of the episode. And so shortly after this, Barry and everyone, they meet up in Star Labs and Joe is there and Joe's like, we brought one of our family members back. Let's look at the good side is along the lines of what he said. And so he's obviously super excited that Ronnie's back and the whole team is, however, things aren't as they seem because as we continue on we'll skip this because we talked about Barry and Iris calling and the fact that when Sue shows up Barry finds out that Iris is missing but in regards to Ronnie, Ronnie is gone when Caitlin looks for him and it's very creepy lighting, it's very low key and so you can hear kind of faint Caitlin in the distance and in, this is obviously entirely in the voiceover and what happens is the lights go off bit by bit as Caitlyn walks down the corridors. And so as they start to talk to each other, Ronnie is not looking at us. We know something is going on because he's being all ominous and creepy. What happens is he turns around and looks at Caitlyn and basically reveals his eyes, which are completely black, meaning that he is possessed by this some sort of darkness. And he reveals that he is in fact not Ronnie. He is just... A creation of what happened in the singularity the real Ronnie is actually dead and you're not going to be seeing him anytime soon so this is the main villain of this graphic novel I presume because we get the reveal and costume reveal not even just the name reveal of Deathstorm you get the blue flames it looks awesome I really do like it it's fully CGI it looks like however it is a very cool addition to the show and I can't wait to see more and more of it. So that about does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications. So you don't miss any future videos. Also you can click on the top right corner of the screen. To watch my latest video. But for now thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.